free fall or the acceleration due to gravity. What happens when you drop an object? Please click over here for an MIT video about a falling object. There are four observations that can be made about that video. Initial velocity, your change in position, your change in velocity, and then the acceleration. Is the acceleration due to gravity and again, gravity is what was pulling the ball down, and it's also what's going to be pulling a hammer down here in the Apollo 15 video. Is it the same for all objects regardless of mass? So first click here, this is a wonderful video, and then kick, click over here for the world's largest vacuum chamber video. Any object that falls only under the influence of gravity is said to be in free fall. Those objects are assumed not to be affected by air resistance. They accelerate downward at 9.8 meters per second squared. The acceleration due to the gravitational force is so special we write G, right, for gravity, instead of A. And our acceleration will be negative G. G is always a positive number, but the negative tells you that the acceleration is downward. So the acceleration due to gravity is a negative 9.8 meters per second squared. To make problem solutions a little easier, we can approximate g as g equals 10 meters per second squared, but that's just an approximation to make the problem simpler. Try filling in the velocity and acceleration columns for this green sphere in free fall. Here's the sphere, and these arrows are indicating that the velocity is increasing with every second. Please use g equal 10 meters per second squared to simplify the calculations. And hint, use the first kinematics equation for the velocity column. So I'll help a little bit here. The acceleration is going to be 10 the entire time, because we're on Earth and that's the acceleration due to gravity. And just one more uh, reminder, it's really 9.8, but we're going to use 10 to make the math simpler. And notice I didn't put any units in each one of these boxes. That's because you have the units right up here in the title, and that's totally legal. And first kinematics equation, let's just refresh everybody's memory, V is equal to V0 plus AT. Now in this case, what's A? Well, it's minus G. So V0 minus GT. So give that a shot. Uh, pause the video if you need. When you're done, come back to the next slide to check your answer. Here's our equation, which I did show you on the last slide. Now it's very important to use this equation properly. You see it's all positive signs there. That's true, that's how it works. But what is our acceleration going to be? Acceleration at everywhere in this process will be due to gravity, right? Just because you drop a ball, it doesn't mean it leaves the Earth's gravitational field. So the acceleration will be a constant negative g, negative 10 meters per second squared, always pulling the object down. So the right-hand column here it's pretty straightforward. You just put in minus 10. Notice we didn't put the units in the individual spaces. Why? Because the title here has the units right in it, so you don't have to put them in each individual cube here. Even when the object isn't moving, that acceleration kicks in as soon as you let it go, so we keep it up there at negative 10. So at time zero, you're not moving. You drop it. After one second, we look at this equation here. Vf is equal to V initial and V initial is zero. Probably should have mentioned that earlier, but there it is. So you have zero minus one times 10. Here it is, negative 10 meters per second. See how the negative took care of itself? Right, we've got the negative 10 there times a positive time. After two seconds, we're doing negative 20 meters per second. Three seconds, negative 30, and so on. Now, meters per second may not mean much to you. However, let's look at after two seconds for an object dropping. 20 meters per second is about 42 miles per hour. That is incredibly fast for something that's only been dropping for two seconds, right? Because there's 2.2 miles per hour for every meter per second. After four seconds, you're going almost 80 miles an hour. And again, assuming there's no air friction here.